All right, this is Mark Hess. Thank you for purchasing a copy of WP Easy SSL. Both Michael and I really appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to take you through and show you the process on how to get up and running with WP Easy SSL. In addition to watching this video, make sure that you go through all of the documentation that we provided in this PDF. It has screenshots and you could just pretty much go along with this and you will be all set up and ready to go. So the first thing that you will need is a Cloudflare account. Now this is 100% free to use. So just go and sign up for a Cloudflare account if you don't already have one. The sign up process is quick and easy. In this video, I'm going to take you through and show you how to add SSL to this doubleagentbonus.com domain that I have. So the first thing we need to do is go in and add a website. So I'm just going to paste in this doubleagentbonus.com. And from there, I'm going to click on the scan DNS records. Now this is just going to go through and scan all of your site. You don't have to worry about this at all. I'm just going to pause the video until this is all ready. So once this is all complete, you will see the continue button. So just go ahead and click the continue button. On this next page, you don't have to worry about anything on here. I'm just going to go ahead and click continue again. Now, when it comes to selecting a Cloudflare plan, we are just going to click on free website. And so this is totally free. And then from there, I'm just going to click on continue. And this is where you update the name servers. Now, this is very important because you will need to do this in order for Cloudflare and our plugin to work. So you will need to replace your current name servers with the name servers that they give you right here. We included a link to a page which takes you through the steps from Cloudflare. It says, how do I change my domain name servers? And they provide a list of different domain registers. So you should see yours on here if you don't know how to change your name servers and they will give you directions on how to do that. Now, if this, if you can't follow along with this, just simply contact the person that you have your domain registered through and tell them your domain name. So for instance, I would tell them I need the name servers changed on doubleagentbonus.com and then just give them both of these name servers. So I'm going to go through, uh, since I use GoDaddy and I'm just going to change my name servers through GoDaddy. So then all I would do is open up a new tab and log in to my GoDaddy account. And after I log in right here, you just go to your domain and click on name servers. So I'm just going to click on manage. Now I'm going to click on custom. If you don't have GoDaddy, just go through your own steps. I'm just changing these to show you how to do it in GoDaddy. So when it says add name server, I'm just going to go through, copy this one, go back, and then I'm going to add the second one. And then just click on this final one, and then it'll say OK. Now from there, I'm just going to click on save. So this is all switching over. Now it says your request has been submitted. Changes may take effect in a few minutes. This is the part right here that may take some time depending on Cloudflare and depending on your domain, the person, the company that you have your domain registered through, how long this will all take to propagate and that kind of thing. Sometimes it happens within 15 minutes. Other times, I mean, this whole process could take up to 24 hours. Most times it, it will happen really, really quickly. So this all needs to be in place right here before you can start using our plugin. Now, if I go back to Cloudflare, all I'm gonna do once I change my name servers with the company I have my domain name registered through, I'm going to click continue. Now, on this page, you can click on recheck name servers and it says that it check back in a few hours or something like that. But from here, from the overview, I'm just going to click on crypto. And then from crypto beside SSL, I'm going to click on flexible. Now, when I click on flexible, now this will start issuing the certificate. So if I go back to overview, when this is all ready, 
you will see that this will turn green and then when the license is issued you are going to see something down here saying that the license was issued so I'm just going to pause this video until all this is ready to go now once your name server is changed you will get an email from Cloudflare that says your domain has been added to Cloudflare so if you open this up you could just go through this you don't have to do anything with that email so if I click on just I can refresh this page and then you will see that the status is going to be active right here now the next thing we need to wait for is this certificate so if I click on crypto you will see that it's authorizing the certificate right now so I'm just gonna pause this video again now it says the SSL certificate may take up to 24 hours but for my experience this happens really quick so the first email that you will get is from this right here saying that it was active and when this crypto option right here the SSL and the flexible option is ready to go then we can begin using the plugin so when your SSL certificate is issued it will say active certificate here so now you're done with Cloudflare and we're, we are all ready to go and install the plugin so I'm just going to click on dashboard then this installs just like any other WordPress plugin I'm going to go to plugin and then add new and then I'm going to click on upload plugin choose the file and this is going to be this WP easy SSL file click install now and click on activate plugin and you will see this WP easy SSL is unlicensed so you'll see a menu option here on the left hand side that says WP easy SSL so I'm just going to go ahead and place in my license key click on save changes then you can see you're using Cloudflare enhanced mode is available so if you get this green bar here that means we are ready to go all you do then is click on Cloudflare mode and then you're going to come up here and click on down here and click on save changes now this will log you out of your site so you would simply just log back in and, and click on login and now you will see that your site has been secured up here it'll say secure and then HTTPS if you are using Google Chrome and then all we need to do is visit our site and then you could see that it is all secured now we have an additional feature that is built in and this is totally optional Cloudflare is what's called a content delivery network or CDN what that means is your content is always served from a data center that's close to your visitor and it will help speed up your site the one downside to this if you are going through the PDF and I explain this in the PDF is that Cloudflare may deliver it won't always update because it keeps content cache so to clear that what we did was build in this feature and all you need to go to is this page to copy your email address and then this page to copy your global API key and this just forces Cloudflare to clear the cache so you will be able to enter your email address which can be found right here on that page and under your account on the same page you would just click here to view the global IP API key and then you would just copy that enter both of those things into our plugin click save changes and all of that happens behind the scenes so you don't have to worry about that now it's important that you go through the PDF documentation because in this video I went through everything pretty quickly in the PDF it, everything is step by step with errors so just follow along and you will be good to go you could secure an unlimited number of domains using one Cloudflare account and then all you would do to do that is click on add site and then it'll take you through the same steps in here so you would just put in a different domain name click begin scan and just go through the same steps with changing your name servers and all of that if you need any help please feel free to reach out to our support desk so we're here to help and we will clear up any issues for you as best that we can so it's and 
make sure that you go to the link in the PDF and it will take you to this place to show you how to change your name servers. Once again, we'd like to thank you for picking up a copy of WP Easy SSL. We really appreciate it.